Good day everyone! The new year is just around the corner. Looking back, the world witnessed a turn of events in 2013 in the local, national, and international scenes through photographs among other media. And these photos are circulated fast online. I'm Army Garde. Join me and let's take a look again at some of the images of love, hope, victory, and tragedy highlighting 2013 in photos. The photo of the stunned-looking Argentine George Bergoglio, who shyly waved to the crowd of tens of thousands of people in St. Peter's Square after he was elected Pope in March, made headlines in dailies worldwide and on social networking sites Twitter and Facebook. Bergoglio chose the papal name Francis. Pope Francis is the first pontiff from the Americas and the first from outside Europe in more than a millennium. Time magazine also gave Pope Francis the Person of the Year title. Here are the photos of Filipinos here and abroad who made sure their voices will be heard at the Million People March done simultaneously as public demands the scrapping of Priority Development Assistance Fund following the pork barrel scandal. On July 26, 2013, an improvised explosive device rocked Rosario Arcade in Limkitkai Center in Cagayan de Oro City. It killed eight, including two doctors and medical representatives, and wounded several others. For more than three weeks, RUG members of the Moro National Liberation Front swooped downtown Zamboanga City in September. More than 100 died in the firefight between MNLF members and government forces. Many civilians were also wounded, including Red Cross staff and volunteers. The photos of our stunning beauty queens also made the headlines. First off, with Filipina beauty Megan Young, who bested 126 entrants around the world as she took home the coveted Miss World title. The Philippines finally bagged the crown. Laguna-born beauty Ariela Arida failed to win the coveted Miss Universe title, but she finished third runner-up. Binibining Pilipinas Mutia Datul also won the Miss Supranational title and Philippines bet Bea Rose Santiago bagged the 2013 Miss International title, besting 66 entrants from around the world. The collision between the MV St. Thomas Aquinas and MV Sulpicio Express Chete occurred around 9.03 p.m. off Lawis Ledge in Cebu in August, killing more than 100. The Philippine Coast Guard said the number of rescued passengers remained at 700 plus. MV St. Thomas Aquinas sank after colliding with the MV Sulpicio Express Chete. The collision also produced an oil spill that affected Cordova, Cebu. Pacquiao is back! Erasing doubts about his boxing career, Manny Pacquiao bounced back from two losses after he defeated Brandon Rios for the WBO International Welterweight title in November. Pacquiao dedicated his victory to victims of Typhoon Yolanda, the world's strongest storm to hit land this year. He also spent time with the survivors days after his return to the country from his fight in Macau. Fans of the Fast and Furious movie series mourned after a car crash North Los Angeles has killed 40-year-old Paul Walker. The star of the Fast and Furious movie was on his way to a charity event for victims of Typhoon Yolanda in the Philippines when the accident happened. Photos of the magnitude 7.2 earthquake that jolted Carmen Bohol and other parts of the Visayas and Mindanao in October also circulated fast online. The quake killed at least 42 people and injured dozens others. And here are the photos capturing the devastation brought by Typhoon Yolanda, international code name Haiyan in Tacloban City and other areas in Central Philippines. Yolanda was considered as the strongest tropical cyclone in the world in 2013. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council said that as of November 29, 2013, the death toll from Super Typhoon Yolanda rose to 6,155. Hundreds of bodies are yet to be buried, more than 40 days after the storm struck.
And those are the photos highlighting the drama and tragedy, as well as victory and comeback the country has witnessed this year. Here's to hoping for more images of success in 2014. Check out Sunstar's other year-end reports published on www.sunstar.com.ph. I'm Army Garde. Good day and Happy New Year!